Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to take a look at these acrylic paint markers from Ahuhu and also see if we can do some ceramic painting with them, uh, which is what they advertise on Amazon as being able to do with these markers. I'm a little skeptical, but I figured to get 12 acrylic paint markers, um, even if I couldn't use them on ceramics for like art journaling or canvas painting for under 20 bucks was a great deal since like the Molotov markers are like, um, I don't know, 80 bucks for a set of 12. Um, and these do seem to be refillable, which is kind of exciting. So I'm going to show you what these look like. This is a new package here. Um, when you first get the marker, it's kind of like a chalk, chalk paint marker in the fact, or any other paint marker that you might use, um, and you'll see the tip doesn't have any paint in it, and this is just to kind of keep the paints from leaking and drying out in transit. So what you need to do is um, press the tip in, and that's going to break the seal into the uh, the paint well, and then you'll just need to kind of uh, write with it a bit to get the paint flowing into the nib. I've already uh, prepared a bunch of the markers like that, and I just stuck them right here just so you could see. Now something that's kind of cool, um, I'll just grab the yellow one since I just showed you and you can see that one's all ready to go the, the paint is saturated into the tip it just takes it takes a few minutes for it to travel there uh, right off the bat but then after that it'll be ready to go uh, you can shake it you can feel the paint moving in there but something that I realized was that you can take these apart and I think I'll be able to refill these with um, and just pull out this part just be careful not to drip it um, I'll be able to refill this with any flow type craft paint like Delta Ceram Coat, which is like um, a dollar for a two ounce bottle. Or um, if these do work good on ceramics, I'll refill them with my um, Folk Art Enamels, which is what I tend to use when I'm painting ceramics. And I will leave a link to a tutorial I did for some coasters with my Folk Art Enamels in case, um, in case this doesn't work out <laughs> very well for ceramics, because I am a little skeptical, but we shall see. So anyway, I played with these and I did three test tiles to see how they would perform. These are just ceramic um, home improvement tiles you know just from bathroom tiles from the home improvement store so the first tile I did I just um, I just drew the colors out and I let it dry and you can see that the um, the marker is not as shiny as a tile so it's like a matte finish so um, that makes me think that these might not be really great for ceramic um, ceramic painting but we'll see when I try washing them off if they do hold true or not um, and this is just air cured I didn't do anything else to it other than color it and let it dry this one, I um, I colored it, let it dry for 24 hours, and then I baked it for 30 minutes in a 350 degree oven. And that is what you do with your typical acrylic uh, ceramic paints like Folk Art Enamels or PBO um, acrylic ceramic paints. So that's how, and there's no instructions with these. There's no instructions on um, the Amazon listing page. It just says use for ceramics, color your ceramics, but it didn't give you any care instructions. So I'm trying to get to the bottom whether this will work or not. And this final one, which I wouldn't do for um, items that were going to come in contact with food, I um, colored on it, let it dry 24 hours, and then I sprayed it with a clear lacquer, and, like a clear spray paint. And then I do like the finish that that gives it, um, but I wouldn't want to do this on like a coffee mug because you wouldn't want, um, I, I wouldn't want, you know, spray paint to come in contact with my food. So let's take a look and see if they will wash off or not. So I've just got a paper towel here and uh, in this little container, I just keep uh, dish soap and water. I use it for cleaning up around the studio. Um, it's in one of those um, containers. They're supposed to, you're supposed to be able to push the top and the stuff's supposed to come out, but it's not working anymore for some reason. I might've clogged it with my soap, I don't know. Uh, so that's what I have on here. So we're gonna try the test tile that, um, that, it just has the marker and nothing else so well look at that it um it's not turning back into paint but it's definitely washing off and i did wash these tiles with soap and water and then wiped them down with alcohol before i did any drawing to make sure there was no grease on there okay so definitely you can't just use it uh, on its own so now let's try it with the oven curing it in the oven we'll see if that makes a difference because that's what you have to do with other alcohol um, other acrylic products that are for ceramics so let's see here. Now this is staying pretty well, actually. Okay, look at that. So I'm washing that with my um, with my paper towel, and none of it, none of the um, none of the paint's coming off. Although you know, the more aggressive I am, I can see that um, that I think it will scratch. Yeah, I can scratch that right off completely though with my thumbnail. So uh, I don't think I'd put a lot of time into something if I could scratch it off with my thumbnail. Although the colors aren't scratching off. It seems to be just the black. Actually, this might be all right. Maybe I, huh. 
So the black doesn't seem to be that great, but the colors seem to be fine. The colors aren't coming off with my thumbnail. Okay, that's good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good sign. So it seems like the colors will work, with the exception of the black, if you bake it in the oven at 350 for um, 30 minutes. Okay, that's uh, that's Fahrenheit for those of you in Canada and Europe. Um, and then this one here with the um, with the clear top coat. I just used my. I just went actually to my husband's workshop and grabbed some um, just clear lacquer, and that is great. So I think if I was doing coasters, I definitely would do. Um, I would do this method because that that's working really well. Look, I can't even scratch off the black, which was scratching off in the other um, the other test. So, so that's great news. That's great news, and it seems like as long as I don't use a black, this is going to work on my mug. So make sure you bake it. So I'm actually going to leave a review, I think, on this product on Amazon and, and put that in, in there. And I'm going to contact the company and, and see if they will add that to their product listing because um, because if I didn't already know, if I didn't already use acrylic um, ceramic paint for like food safe acrylic ceramic paint, I never would know. Now, whenever I've used any other acrylic ceramic paint, even though the paint is non toxic, it says do not put on an area that's going to come in contact with food. So what I have here is a mug that is clean and I wouldn't, so I wouldn't want to put my design up here on the lip where it's going to come in contact, con, come in contact with your mouth. I can't talk today. And I wouldn't want to put it inside the cup because that's also going to come in contact with food. So, um, to clean it, you just want to, you just want to wash it. What I'm going to do is just, I will just for the sake of, you know, doing a video and showing you the right way to do something. Um, I will wash it with soap and water and then I will wipe it down with alcohol. And I just use regular, um, regular alcohol from the from the drugstore, just the stuff from your bathroom. It doesn't have to be something super, super strong. Rinse it if you're worried you have too much soap on there. Obviously doing this in your kitchen, in the sink would be a better solution. And you wanna make sure that this is dry before you begin. And what the alcohol does, cause you're probably thinking, why do I need alcohol if I'm going to like wash this? The alcohol dries really quickly. And it also removes any like grease or dust. If you have, um, you know, lotion on your hands and you're handling the mug when you wash it, you might, you know, transfer some of that. So that just keeps it really clean. And I keep a little thing of rubbing alcohol in the spray bottle. It's handy for several craft applications. Um, I'll use it when I am um, making soap because you can spray that on top of, you know, your soap as it sets and it keeps it from uh, getting bubbles. It kind of makes the bubbles go away. So that's kind of a handy little hack there. So let me just dry this off really well and we'll start painting. I recommend you keep some q-tips handy that way if you make a mistake you can wipe it off with the alcohol on a q-tip and not have to damage your entire uh, design. So I figured that I wanted to do something with like rosebuds and vines. I thought that would be really be really cute and also I thought it'd be kind of cute to um like I, I, we did a birthday party once where it was a tea party and I hand painted a bunch of mugs like this um, with like um, little pretty cute little roses on them, rosebuds. And then as um, the guests arrive, I used an acrylic marker to write the guest's name on it. And um, that's kind of a great way if you want to do some stuff ahead of time, maybe for a craft fair and then personalize it, you could totally do that. So for the rose, for the vines, I'm going to go ahead on every other bump on this um, mug and do a squiggly green line and you know I'll just do I don't need to do them all right now on video and then I'm just gonna make little rosebuds just by putting pretty much just a little dash um, just kind of offsetting them on each of these vines I wouldn't get too fussy um, especially when you have a design like this you just have small little um, areas to work in but that kind of shows you an idea of how fine tip the markers are um, I think this would be kind of fun to like sketch in an idea on a canvas or maybe put like um, details on a finished painting on a canvas or something like that. I'll probably end up using these in my art journal more than anything else, but uh, I think this would be really great if you have little ones that want to make like a handmade gift um, because it can be really expensive. And I always think that when I was a kid, I always loved to make handmade gifts. I always felt really um, great to give something that I'd made myself. So I'm shaking this up. I think it's a good idea to shake the paints. I'm wondering maybe with that black one that was like scratching off, I'm thinking maybe I didn't shake up the paint well enough. I don't know, um, but I'm not going to use black on that just because of, because of that. Um, I'm actually going to start with yellow, I think, and make centers for each of my rows. 
I like that these would these are even though they're not marketed to be refillable that they're refillable I'm just doing like a couple little dots for each center I think this is gonna be really really cute just a little group of dots that there that will be like the the uh, stamen and now I'm gonna grab this light pink and I'm going kind of light to dark just in case um, I kind of get into another color by mistake and I'm just doing little dashes around this because I don't have a lot of space and these do take a little bit to dry so keep that in mind so like if you went all the way around and you did all of your yellow and then you started back at the beginning and did all of your pink um, that would give it time to dry because doing it like this I'm actually smearing into that pink that yellow a little bit not that it's a it's a huge deal but just something to kind of kind of keep in mind if you do get um, if you do get paint on the tip of your marker scribble it off on a scrap of paper and uh, and it will be so you don't contaminate it it will be good and then I'm just gonna go with a few little dashes of this darker pink and these are all in that basic set I'm just trying to make it kind of look like rose bud petals it's kind of difficult in this tiny little area but I think it'll work just try to get a little bit of curve to them hopefully I'm in frame I think this is a fun little project so I think these are multi-purpose I was really skeptical that they would work on um, on ceramics I was thinking for sure they were just gonna chip off because they're matte and ceramic paint is usually glossy I would not put these in the dishwasher because I think that dishwashing detergents a lot more abrasive and it would probably eat away at the surface of the paint but um, I think if you hand washed them and were pretty gentle and as long as you didn't put it where it's gonna con come in contact with food I think you'd be all right with these um, so I'm, I'm very pleased with that I love the fact that these are refillable even though they don't say so um, on the website I would just get my flow acrylics I would actually just get like uh, like um, Delta Ceram coat that's one of my favorite cheap flow acrylics and I would just refill them with that I'm just putting just little uh, little leaves in here but uh, but yeah I'm really impressed with that I still will put that tutorial in the video description on using the full card enamels um, I will even throw stuff in the dishwasher that I've painted with those and they hold up really well after a while though they will start to the paint will start to break down but we're talking after like a year or two um, of like washing them weekly so um, you know best the best thing to do is to wash them by hand anytime you're using a, an oven bake enamel um, but I am impressed I thought for sure that these were gonna chip and I was feeling kind of bad but um, um, but it they were fine other than the other than the black um, which could have been my own fault um, I found that the other the other colors held up really well and then if you're doing coasters use that top coat and then you get a uniform um, clear um, a uniform glossy glossy surface which is is really nice so um, so yeah I'm impressed with these I was really skeptical but um, but they worked out really well and these are the uh, hoo hoo acrylic paint markers I'll put a link in the video description uh, if you want to order these it is an affiliate link just to let you know I do get a small um, uh, percentage of the sale yes yeah, and I'm scratching on that first tile that we just I just cured and I didn't cook this was just like cured for um, for 24 hours and yeah it's it's scratching off but it seems to me if you bake it that it doesn't want to scratch it's still not I don't think it's as durable as like a um, I'm really gonna try to scratch these here yeah it's pretty good um, I don't think it's as durable as the enamel paints I think because it doesn't have a glossy finish I think that kind of uh, kind of hampers it a bit but I mean baking it for 350 350 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven for 30 minutes what I do is I put the tile in or the ceramics in turn on my oven once it hits uh, 350 then I set my timer for 30 minutes um, when it goes off I turn the oven off and I let them cool in the oven and uh, and that's how I always do my acrylic um, oven bake enamels and there shouldn't be any fumes um, of course you know this is I've just applied what I knew for other um, acrylic oven bay of uh, acrylic enamel products to this and it seemed to work um, who knows it might work with regular acrylic paints I have no idea but um, other than the black these colors worked really well now when I got when I first got my set of the, the markers there was two blacks and no orange and so I contacted the company and they sent me a new pack and um, so there was an orange in it but I'd already done my test tiles at that point so that's why I did not I have not like I did not swatch out the orange um, I will show you what it looks like though 
I like that it's not streaky. I mean, even on a glossy tile like these, they do cover really well um, without streaks. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I think like, even if you were looking for acrylic markers for art journaling and canvas use, but you didn't want to spend, um, you know, the money for the expensive art markers, you could get these and then use up what's in them and refill them with your artist grade flow acrylics. If you, you know, wanted that artist grade paint. Um, so yeah, give it a try. Those are the Ahuhu acrylic paint pens. And, um, and that's all I have to say for today. I'm going to finish up this mug and, um, I'll take a photo of it and, put that photo on my blog as well as I'll put all the information about how to bake it and what I used um, in the video description as well so that you can uh, kind of write that down. So I hope you found this helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up and until next time, happy crafting!